what's up guys welcome back to a new video so I'm uh, starting to build this uh, new uh, turbo kit for my car and I'm gonna take you through the process I was thinking uh, there's not a lot of information on the internet about big turbos uh, on the Mark 7 Golf only the hybrid ones uh, so I'm gonna share my story you know sh share what I use show you the parts and, and links in the description so if you want to build a kit of your own you can just Come on. Yeah. Um, so today I got the first part of the turbo kit. It's the adapter to put the turbo on the uh, on the engine. Um, I'm gonna show you the adapter I chose. Uh, I'm gonna show you the website, uh, and I'm gonna show you more adapters that I found. Uh, maybe you wanna use another one. Uh, I just use this one because it's it's. Uh, easy for me to order it's in Germany and I'm in the Netherlands so the de delivery time is not that long so let me show you the website of the, the adapter I chose uh, after that I'll show you the adapter itself because I already uh, got it here I'm also gonna uh, show you which turbo I chose um, I'm not gonna go into depth about the turbo I'll do that in the next video when I get the turbo so I can show you it uh, in real life so first let me show you the website of the adapter I chose um, and then after that I'll show you some other options uh, and after that I'll show you the part itself and then uh, at the end of the video I'll show you the turbo I chose well, let's first uh, get to the website so this right here is the uh, adapter I chose this is the website uh, turbo total um, I think it's dot com um, the price is 311 euros uh, and they got it in stock so it, it came here within two days from Germany to the Netherlands, so that's pretty quick. Um, so let's scroll down. Uh, this is in uh, German right now, but essentially what it says, uh, it's a um, stainless steel adapter uh, for the engine uh, EA888 Gen 3. So that's the Mark 7 uh, Golf R engine. Uh, also fits on Audi, I think it's S3. And what they made it for, so they made it for the uh, Garrett uh, G25 series. What it says right here. Uh, but, but as long as you have a 3 inch uh, V band uh, on your turbo, you should be able to fit it. Uh, of course, you need an internal wastegate because there's no wastegate uh, option on it. So that's what they say here. They, they, it's for a wastegate, uh, internal wastegated uh, turbo. So there's some more information. If you want, you can go to the website and translate it all. So down here they tell you the more important things. Uh, it can handle a peak temperature of uh, 1,050 degrees. It's a stainless steel uh, part. Uh, it's uh, optimized for the good flow this is a uh, motorsport suitable i don't know what they mean with that uh, four wheel drive suitable and high efficiency so that's what they say right there but this is a website that has a lot of uh, as you can see a lot more also hybrid turbos i think they have a hybrid turbo with a garrett gtx core so that might be pretty interesting for some people but for me, I'm going for this adapter. Uh, I'll show you the other pictures. So this is the adapter. So this is the one I chose. Um, so let me show you the other option I found. This is from uh, Tilo Direct uh, SA. Uh, maybe you've seen their uh, YouTube channel. Uh, that's how I found them. They, they got these adapters, they call it a, call it a swirl adapter uh, because with their adapter it goes from the two ports uh, and it, it uh, rotates and comes out this way and this way they say they have a higher uh, flow also these adapters look pretty good for me the choice to buy the other adapter was because they have the uh, I don't know if you can see, oh here you can see it they got the sensor uh, port in here uh, and with this one you don't have it so you have to put the sensor in the turbine housing or something um, but on the other side this looks pretty good 
uh, design wise you know to get optimal flow so I don't know exactly the price of this one I watched uh, I did add to chart and I see it was like 200 South African currency and that was like uh, yeah I don't know it was cheaper than the other one but I, I don't know exactly what it was so this is also uh, yeah, an adapter you could use. Uh, just Google Turbo Direct SA and you'll uh, find the, the website and the shop. So yeah, that, that's the one adapter. This is the one I chose. But there's another adapter I found. Uh, but it gets used by a company uh, in Spain. And uh, the guy uh, that makes the adapters can sell them separately from a kit. So so it's no use of uh, showing you that one. So yeah, that's it for the website. Uh, let me show you the actual product right now. So this is the actual adapter right here. It comes in a bubble wrap. It's packaged really nice in a box with cardboard in it. Oh, let me take that out. So this is the actual part. Uh, Turbo Total engraved with the engine type it's uh, used for. So this is the stainless steel adapter. Uh, the inside size here is 55 millimeters, and the outside is uh, 76 millimeters. So that's three inch. So uh, you need, you're gonna need a V-band clamp for that one. This is the port for the sensor right there, and the two ports that uh, uh, go out from the engine. So the engine has the two ports. This connects to that. I still have to put it on and see how good uh, this matches the, the engine but uh, I will check that and I didn't fit it yet so I can't tell you how it fits yet so yeah really nice stainless steel adapter as you can see it looks really really good really nice looking product let's look at the inside there Let's get the light up there. As you can see, it goes from the two ports to one port. And then you connect the turbo right there. So this might also be interesting. I got myself a tape measure. So from the engine, there it's about five centimeters. And it's a little bit lower on this part. That's like four and a half. So that's the, the size it goes uh, out from the engine. So make sure with this and the turbo fitted, you still have some room behind there uh, so it, the turbo doesn't hit the, the, the wall. I don't know how to call that in English, but you know what I mean. So the turbo I went with uh, is a Xona uh, 7864 turbo. Um, it has a range from 410 to 820 horsepower. Um, I'm going to show you a lot more about the turbo uh, in the next video when I get the turbo. Um, but yeah, I, I went for Exona uh, just because the Garrett internal wastegate uh, turbos were really hard to find. Uh, are here because of uh, COVID, but I'm not sure. I contacted some people and, and they couldn't deliver, so um, I started searching and, and found. Uh, uh, Xona Rotor uh, 7864 to be in a, in a turbo kit for the MK7 in America and Spain so I thought let me try uh, try fitting that one um, so yeah like I said I'm gonna tell you uh, more about the turbo later uh, for now uh, that's the turbo um, it's already ordered it's on its way so uh, when I get it I'll show you more so thanks for watching part one like I said, uh, there's not uh, much info on big turbo kits uh, for the Mark 7 Golf on the internet. Um, so uh, I'll be sharing everything I do, everything I buy, all the prices and everything. Uh, so if you want to build a big uh, turbo kit that's not a hybrid, uh, you can uh, just uh, see what I use. It saves you a lot of time because I'm searching a lot for, for products and things to fit the turbo and, and special brackets and things like that to make it easier. Um, so you can just skip that uh, and find it all in my videos. Um, so yeah, I hope this makes your life a little bit easier. So that's today's video. Uh, I'll be uploading the next video as soon as I get the turbo. So thanks for watching uh, and I hope I see you back in part two.